Jeff Bezos has attempted and succeeded at making history. Joining us now to break it all down is Dan Costa, editor-in-chief at PCMag.com. Hey, Dan, so tell us what is the Amazon CEO up to now and explain what was just accomplished by his private space company, Blue Origin. So the, the reusable rocket's been a holy grail for the space industry for a very long time. Most people don't think about putting rockets up, but usually those rockets go up, then they drop down into the ocean, they never get used again. Uh, people think of the space shuttle as being a reusable spacecraft, but in fact it's still just strapped to rockets to get up into space and sort of glides back down to Earth. The, what all these companies are trying to do, and this is Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, and Blue Origin, is create a craft that can go up to a, into orbit or to a suborbital level and then safely return to the Earth and carry passengers. And it, this is the first step. No one's ever really been able to do this. Uh, SpaceX has had a number of very visible failures in doing it. Um, but this was a, a, a controlled landing back on Earth, and it's pretty extraordinary. Well, we'll get to SpaceX in a minute, but can you kind of explain the intention or the plan for the space capsule, the New Shepard? Yeah, I mean, the, there's, there's, a, there's a couple of different reasons why you would want to go to space, but uh, Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic are really working on space tourism. They want to bring people up for a relatively high price, um, give them a space experience, and then safely deliver them back down. Um, that's their business model. Uh, whether that can actually pay for all this research and development to build these crafts and develop this industry uh, is yet to be seen. But it is, it's, there's certainly a lot of interest in getting up there, and these are two companies that are, are actively working on delivering that service. And can you kind of tell us how Blue Origin compares to Elon Musk's company that you mentioned earlier, SpaceX, and compare the two programs for us? Yeah, I mean, Blue Origin is really focusing on the space tourism part of it, getting into a suborbital level. When you look at SpaceX, they're really a full-service space agency. Uh, they just landed a contract to service the uh, International Space Station with NASA and really provide commercial flights. They're working on, on plans to deliver people to Mars. So they're not just going to be doing tourism. They're going to be doing, they're really a full-fledged space agency. As a result, their ambitions are a lot higher. And, uh, you know, the goals that, uh, that Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin were able to accomplish, um, I think SpaceX is going to be able to do the same thing in short order. But uh, at the moment, they're, uh, they, you know, the Blue Origin has an edge on them. Well, certainly we can all see these space wars are definitely heating up here. Dan Costa, editor-in-chief of PCMag.com, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for watching. I'm Kate Rogers. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.